Hello everyone and welcome back to Impossible Bromance here in Master Orion with the 5X Ultimate Balance mod. I'm Mal and I'm here with my buddy again, Sabouts. What's up my friend? Well, I'm... I'm uh, hopeful. I'm hopeful, hopeful that we're going to crush <laughs> these squid people which are just disgusting looking. Well, uh, I mean, again, I think we've talked about this before, we'll, we'll be hopeful for the first few episodes and then if we start getting our faces crushed the people will like hear it they'll like no oh yeah they're not well, quite as confident <laughs> you could certainly plot out our enthusiasm on a line graph and watch as it <laughs> <laughs> just tanks over time i'm on the next turn by the way just oh are you uh, okay i was just looking I at these I was, I was looking at these uh creepy squid people yeah, and we still don't even know who the other race is. We're just hoping to God it's anybody but the Sakura. Yeah, just not the Sakura. Yeah. Really, anybody. Because anybody but them, because they are, uh, I mean, yeah, that'll be face punch if it is them. It would be the ugly. The Trillarians are not all that great, so with the bonuses that they'll get from being on impossible difficulty, I think hopefully they'll be manageable, but like any of the ones that have a tendency to be like breakaway AIs, the... Sakura come to mind, the Thylosoid come to mind as ones that can just break away. Cylon, are they any good? Uh, They, well, it depends on what changes the AI made to their behavior. Because they're sort of like the moderately aggressive ones. Um, But, they, you know, their tech spirals so fast that... It can really be ugly. So, yeah, they can be a problem. Because they get to a point where they're so far ahead tech-wise, you like, you know, you can't make up the difference is the problem with them. Oh, okay, okay. If you can get to them early though, if you can get to them early and put them away early before that's that kind of before they ramp up so to speak, then they're they're not that bad. They're not that hard to control. Okay. See. Oh, here's an ultra rich planet. Very small, though, and barren. Barren? What else is in the system with it? I don't know yet. I'm still looking at the other planets. Okay. If there's something else in the system with it, it might be worth it. Just found. Is that you that I just. Oh, no, it's not you. What just did I just find? that planet I was going to take. Who did? The Trilarian. Oh, well, interestingly enough, can build troop transports. So you could just go take it and say thanks for giving me the free colony. I mean, I don't know how aggressive you want to be, but I mean, would that that's be something you could, that's something you couldn't war? do? Yeah, you'd have to declare war, but you know, that's a hell of a lot of resources for them to put into that ship and then start that colony. That's the thing. The like I, we talked about in the first episode with this mod, with the five X ultimate balance mod, the early game strats change a lot. You wouldn't even you would even have that option, right? Because you wouldn't have troop transport tech. Exactly. It's it's so it's it's, it's cool that you do, right? It's very tempting to do that. I I think that since we're doing this first let's play with this mod, and the thought process being that we're testing stuff. That screw being optimally, I, I think we say screw trying to do optimally what we would do to win against the really high end AI, and we just test as many things as we want. Yes. So if you want to be super aggressive, that's fine. If it gets us, if it ends up getting us killed, whatever. Let's. I mean, I think we just test all this stuff. I think that's the whole the whole fun of it, really. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, I, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna need a fleet and transports. Although I don't even have my second planet still kind of trying to kick into gear here. I'll get there. Yeah, I'm here. waiting for biology. That's a big thing for Here's me. an ultra rich. Uh, it's toxic. Mm. That's not so great. But it is ultra rich. But toxic. I've got this yeah. ultra poor planet. But it does have mm -hmm. gems. Eh. I wouldn't do an ult I would not unless it was a really awesome biome, I would not touch an ultra poor. Yeah. Because by the time it ramps up, it's just not gonna be worth it. Yeah, makes sense. 
So was this? Is it Fovia? Is that the one they colonized? Um, I've got a barren planet that's abundant but dark quartz. I'm kind that's of not bad. limited so, on planets. So, Belts, was it this Fovia system? Was that the one that they colonized? Yes, that's the one they colonized. I was going to take the planet in there. I would, I would take it from them because they only have two systems. That would really screw them over. I would take it. I would build some troop transports, maybe put one frigate or destroyer with it. They don't have any defenses. Okay, I agree. Yeah, let's do it. in in ancient ruins discovered awesome yeah i'm gonna start rerouting a lot of my stuff right now to do that move Research complete. The combine has good a winner is you. got a lot of kind of not terrible systems but they're there's nothing like, I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. Like, that hasn't... I got lucky with that first system right next to me. But so after that, not so much with the luck. Well, I'm having some bad luck trying to get this second planet started. I'm going to have to get a pop there. I'm going to have to build it to get a pop there. You, ha you have it established, though, right? I do, yeah. But it, it's not growing because I can't get... I need to get another pop on it. Um, well, do the whole civil transport thing. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Next that's turn. what I'm doing right now for that third colony I started. Uh, oh! It's the... It's whatever... However you want to pronounce it. The Golams? The the it's, the, it's the... Yeah, it's the, it's the commercially based empire. Space traders. Oh, well, that would explain why their economic victory threshold is insanely high compared to ours. So but we've actually not... got some pretty good opponents. Yeah, yeah, reasonable is what I would say. <laughs> They're reasonable opponents for our first time with this on this difficulty level. Yes, that I'm optimistic about that. So neither of these are traditionally runaway AIs. And if you're not familiar with that term, folks, that means like a an AI who's the empire is so strong that on higher level difficulties they break away from the rest of the pack in terms of score and their size and scope, and then you never can catch up. Neither one of these. Are traditionally that so that gives us that gives us a chance which is cool because i want to be able to see as much stuff as we can i agree yeah i think that puts us in a good spot this is so now uh, i think a lot of it's just going to be trying to s trying to see how long we can last um, right if they do start to really go Overall, and I'm glad. I've, I'm glad now too that we opted not to do the pirates because it'll make the focus building up and going to war with these guys versus messing around with pirate bases. Yes, I agree with that. Okay, so I discovered their home world. Oh, large ocean abundant right next door to their home world really yeah like that would certainly pay. oh with gold so it's large ocean abundant with gold wow oh i'm so tempted to do that but that was for, yeah not ready to go to war that would for sure piss them i off. really want to take these guys planted out from under them i'm working on a troop transport now getting frigates kind of lined up what you'll need is um planet You'll need uh, you'll need two troop transports, two troop transports, and like a destroyer and or two frigates, and you you will be able to do it. Now here's something interesting. They've got a colony ship right here. Do you have a combat vessel in the area? Do you have like something other than a scout in the area? No, just the scout right. Now. Oh, I got frigates kind of hanging out nearby. If you could come destroy this colony ship, that would really hurt them. Okay, I could do and, that. And you don't have to go to war to destroy a support ship. Yep, I'll I'll start sending the frigate there right now. And I don't know if I can trap this thing with a scout. We both have scouts in this system. I'm going to put my guy on guard. I want you to do the same thing with that other warp point, and then this colony ship's got nowhere to go, really. Okay, if he can't get past our scouts, which I don't think... 
I don't think he can, and he's got no weapons. So I think it's just like a standoff, basically. Yeah, I'm good with that. Anything to help cripple the AI. Looks like he flew past my scouting guard anyways. Oh, did he? Okay. With, a, with a civil transport. But he'd know his, his, his colony ship turned around. Hmm, okay. Yeah, it turned around and flew away. So we might have made, we might have had an impact. I'm gonna start building some frigates. I've done too much infrastructure stuff, so I gotta I gotta build some military. Or it's gonna be problems for me. It, I can sense it. Well, I've got my first transport ship coming. I've got two frigates and a transport ship. I need two transport ships to take this planet. If you want to be guaranteed victory, yeah, okay, you need two. I, I, w I would. I would get two. I mean, one might be able to handle it because they only have, like, one pop there. Well, I mean, we're doing this for science, man. So maybe you should just try it with one and see. Doing it for science. I you just added another population to it. Uh, so now it's two pop, at least. And he just put a frigate in orbit to guard it. So well, he's definitely concerned. Well, he better be concerned because I'm coming. Where are you I sending am that coming. other colony ship at? I'm going to send it up to this uh, medium swamp abundant. The Rahab? Is that where you're going? Yeah, Rahab. It's the okay. only other planet that's decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But make sure you get that um, Antarian Ruin up there too when you can. Yep, yeah. Yeah, there's like, unless I forward settle like literally in that guy's face down there. There's no, there's nothing else for me to go get. Do it for science. Uh, I guess I guess I could, but man, that's like. Well, well, honestly, though, maybe playing aggressive is what we need to beat the AI. Maybe we just play so aggressive the AI is so confused that they start to think they're the human players and we're the impossible AI. Well, yeah, I I mean, yeah, okay. I think beating an impossible AI probably does require to play aggressive. Well, yeah, I would say I would I would say that. But one of the other things that I'm really interested in seeing how well it works is that with the 5x um, ultimate balance mod, the defensive structures are significantly stronger. OK, so star bases, um, orbital batteries, missile bases, all that stuff is significantly buffed up. And that was one of the things that bothered me with the vanilla version of Master of Orion is it didn't seem to matter. Like, you could have tons of defenses on a planet, and even a small fleet would just come in and, like, wreck wreck your fleet or wreck yeah. your uh, defenses. And that's not the case with this. So I am interested to see if we set up, you know, kind of like we've always tried to do when we're playing Stellaris, like, set up those choke points and really militarize a system. I, th I think we could do that with some success with this. Yeah, I th think you're correct. I'm in a pretty good spot right now to kind of choke point. So, oh, he's attacking me with two with two frigates. Mm-hmm. I thought he might. He doesn't like how I'm... He probably doesn't like that I'm playing aggressive. And he has... See, this is where you can see the bonuses kick in. He's already got four frigates, and we know that he's produced at least one additional um, colony ship. So yeah, they 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 are getting some some pretty good bonuses on this difficulty. Well, level. yeah, impossible. I'm gonna uh, turn around and I'm gonna. I'm just all I'm doing is cranking. By the way, all I'm doing is cranking out frigates right now. I've mm -hmm. got like four of them queued up. Okay, good thing you are. Not I'm not doing anything else until I fill up my command point cap. I okay, think. that's a good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and back my frigate up I've got here and then I've got frigates coming too he moved his frigates back so how many does he get sitting on that world now four not one of them's damaged too many I've got four that ain't nothing too many for me to be able to push but Space Factory, I think, is a good idea right now. And start solidifying defenses? Yeah, probably the way to go. Yeah, I'm going to start building defenses right now and try to get ahead of them with it. 
Okay, so are you going to back off the plan to atta to attack and instead try to what? Try to cut him off over there? Yeah, because he's got four okay. frigates and I've only I'm I've only got two. So, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. What research are you doing right now, bud? I'm doing engineering. You're doing engineering to get destroyers. Yeah, okay. I want to go for a quick destroyer. I want to try to build a couple, you know, one or two destroyers to try to push me, catapult me, kind of in into the. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, into the conquest. I'm going to do that as well then. Because how many... I am keep tracking the path to victory because that's telling me where our enemies lie kind of military-wise. And I want to stay behind them. As long as we can stay behind them, ahead of them would be great too, but I don't think that's going to happen. But if we can stay behind them, that's going to make a big difference. The time graph... Uh, let's see. Let's see what army looks like. Uh, okay, so space pigs, or space cows, uh, they have, yeah, they're, man, their army's pretty high, actually. Very high, like, double us. Okay, so, yeah, I, yeah, I'm glad I didn't try to settle down there now, because that would have just pissed them off, and they would have been coming for blood. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should play a little reserved. I just found... We don't want a to suicide. Really... I just found a really good system with two good worlds in it, but it it's way the hell away from my main colonies. Okay, who I got disruptive, a new leader. Oh, disruptive computer virus infects the Clackon Hive, having research. So they're already they're already doing espionage stuff. So Are I you just serious? Got my, just got my research cut in half. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they're already doing espionage. So that means they already have a spy center. How the so heck got, could they be that far ahead? Because they get all kinds of bonuses. Yep. Wow. So they have that means they have Xeno. One of them has Xeno diplomacy right now, that tier. Because that's the only way they would have had access to spy um, to spy centers. So actually that means not only did they not only did they have a spy center, right? Yep. But that they unless it was a random event, which I don't think it was, that means that they have a spy center, they have built said spy center, and they spent eight eight turns training a new spy. And then sent the spy to do the op, which is at least five turns. So that means they've had their spy center since what? The beginning of the game? Like, how is that even? It's barely even possible that they've done all that. Like, we've only, we're only on turn 27. So this really, so is, impo getting... this really is impossible. Yeah, we shouldn't be seeing any enemy spy activity, you know. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I'm extremely excited. Take yeah, it. I am too. I, it's funny. I think people are like, well, you're excited about getting your face crushed? Yes. Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we're kind of weird like that. Wow, that Raiden system, which is in like the southwest corner of the galactic map, it has a huge ocean, abundant world with prolific wildlife. And we talked about this. This is one of the things they added. So pro prolific wildlife um, gives population growth bonus to the colony. That's a new special that they added. Okay. And then the other world next to it is also ocean. Medium ocean, rich with gold. Oh. So sexy. That's so oh. sexy. I'm not going to be able to get it, but it's sexy. That's that's nice. Yeah, right? I don't know. Maybe I could go to war over that. I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're in an interesting spot right now. Oh, man. that is That is super nice, though. What sucks is that the, they're going to end up getting that. Yeah, and that's a really good planet. Man. I mean, I guess I could build another colony ship and a bunch of frigates and then go down there and see if I could hold them off. I could try. Um, I mean, you're uh, military-wise, you're not sitting bad right now, right? Uh, compared to them, I am, but I'm cranking out a new frigate every three turns, so... Okay. You know, I, can, I think I can catch up the gap here pretty quick. Oh, just got my first leader named Alt the Farmer. Transforming the efficiency of the Clackon into productive agricultural workforce has always been one of the fundamental successes of the Clackon Hive. Alt was born a rare variant who's plagued by bacterial growth on his external plates which prepare soil he touches for production making him repulsive but also valuable. Alt assures the practices of the Kuldan are carried throughout the stars. 
That's kind of cool. Yeah, nifty. He's plus he's plus ten food. I I'm gonna hire him. If for no other reason, Alt had a cool story. Exactly. Right. I thought it was pretty neat. I enjoyed it. Built these troop transports, thinking I was gonna snipe that okay. place. Okay. Third, third, third planet in that system. Medium desert, abundant with gold. Fourth planet in that system. Medium volcanic, rich. Oh. That boy. system is. That system's worth going to war over. I'm, I'm gonna go to war over it. I think. If you think you're prepared. Oh, I'm not. But I think I'm just gonna do it anyway, just because reasons. Science. <laughs> I yes, for science. <sighs> It's been my excuse. Actually, you know, I started that new um, XCOM 2 Long War 2 series recently, last couple of weeks. And um, I've been doing a lot of, like, strange soldier builds and sort of different things. And I was like, you know what? It's my first time playing Long War 2. I'm going to experiment. And maybe it's not going to be optimal, but it's going to be interesting. Yeah, and exactly. so far, it's been really fun. Sometimes it's just about trying different things out. You might find a combination that works really well. Yeah, I accidentally found... Well, we're playing Master of Orion, so I won't go into it, but I, f I found one yesterday that was like, hey, if I do this and this, that soldier can do this kind of cool stuff. And it wasn't something that I thought about before I tried it. No. So for us, I think this first series with this mod is the same thing, right? Yeah, we're, we're going to learn a lot. I might actually... Well, I can't. We're going to want to start working on diplomacy to keep these guys off our backs. Well, that's... Hey, you, I said, let me know as soon as you want to, I've already got government done. So yeah, you let okay. me know when you start working on Xeno relations and I'll switch. Okay. Sounds good. I'll start heading up that way. I'm three turns away from being done with engineering, so I can switch whenever. It's just no reason for me to do it if, if you haven't, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. gonna lose a frigate you know what instead of you know what? I'll just delete it then I'm going through spending my credits here and there because I think it's pretty important early game that I try to stay um, ahead because I'm we're not gonna it stay is. ahead of the AI but we got to try to stay behind them we can't let that's him. a good point that's a really good point I'm gonna i will start buying some of these structures, because why else have the money, right? Yeah, that's not going to do you any good if they're attacking <laughs> and destroying into the ground. So use it now as you can. That's kind of the way I'm looking at it, you know. I'm, I'm using the credits to try to keep me behind them. Going for early star bases. For the command points, for one, but but really more so that we're not sitting ducks. Because, again, the defenses are much better than they were before, so I yeah. want to take advantage. Actually, gonna striking. Pull the frigate. How come do I lose? 10 credits. I lose 10 credits a turn. For one guy striking, I'll let that guy strike. Like, you go for that, pal. Strike all you want. I want my money. Do all the striking you want. Yeah. He's got a good amount of planets right now. How many you got? Three? Three. Yep. Okay. And if I can pull it off, I'll, I'll have four. But I don't want to do it until... I can ensure that I'm going to be able to keep it. So yeah, I'm going to send a bunch sense. of frigates down there, and then I'm going to send a um, base factory and a colony ship at the same time. And if I can, you know, take the colony and then immediately start building a military outpost there, then then I'll then I will I'll go for it. Yeah. Okay. If I get if I get all that down there and they're already approaching, then. I'll have to back out. Yeah. But it's worth the risk, I think. Well, I'm working on government now. Okay, let me know when you get... Let me know when you're done with government and you've moved into Xeno Relations, and I'll switch. Okay. Okay. 
So we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, folks. We want to keep all the episodes about the same length. Again, these are going to release at noon Eastern every day. That's the plan. We hope that you've enjoyed it so far and that you continue to join us for some more extreme bromance here in Master of Orion. Till next time, he is to bounce. I am Mal, and we'll see you later. Bye.